the Organization on Doing Tax Abuse has announced the appointment of former ANC MP Makosi Koza, uh, who would join it as an executive director and head of its local government program. Here's more from Makosi Koza, the newly appointed executive director of Alta. This new appointment is very exciting, not just for me at a personal level, but I think for South African local citizens who have been neglected for quite a long time. As you know, local government has been in a sphere that we have not really paid too much attention to. And if you consider the fact that on average a municipality make 90% of revenue f of, you know, from local citizens and sm local businesses, um, it's actually uh, tragic that we have neglected this sphere. And, and I'm very excited about joining Alta and um, I'm, I'm ready to be part of the action. Some have argued, Doctor, this afternoon on social media that joining Alta is a political suicide, especially for a high-ranking, uh, trusted political figure as yourself. Well, you know, other people may say whatever they want to say. I have assessed the environment and uh, judging by voter apathy, the reality of the situation is that citizens they want, they, it is citizens that actually want us to invest in civil society movements as opposed to, you know, trusting governments. I mean, if you look at the recent, uh, the recent uh, results of votes um, uh, at, at Vets University where the EFF won 14 seats out of, out of 15 in the SRC, the voter turnout was only 8%. And, and even if you look at South Africa, although we have the ANC, that is uh, holding 60% of the seats at national level. But the reality is that they only got 11 million votes out of, out of 26 million registered voters, and that's below 50%. So I, I'm saying to you, we need to actually be consistent with the trends. People are really looking at civil society and I think this is the age of a, an active citizen. And, and I think we, we're going to be seeing a lot, a lot more cit citizen participating in governance than ever before. And Doctor, another aspect of this appointment, it comes at a very um, awkward time, I could say, for outer when there's been this uh, recent commotion when it comes to the gentleman that just resigned from Alta with regards to the allegations that were thrown at the organization? You know, you, if you are a rational and objective being, you must not make your decisions based on maybe smear campaigns or based on information that you have not tested. I have looked at that, and as far as I am concerned, I still believe that Outer is an organization to reckon with, and I am looking at their own focus on local governance, and I feel strongly that this is where we should be focusing on. As a matter of fact, who right now is focusing on corruption, poor service delivery, and maladministration, irregular, fruitless expenditure at local level. Nobody outside government, except you only hear of local government when we hear AG, the Audit General. But other than that, we are not necessarily focusing on that. And I don't think we should really be tarnishing good organizations. Simply one person who is uh, bitter about something is saying this or that about the organization. I don't make my decisions that way. Don't you think it's a little bit too far, local government, uh, considering a whole lot of things that is happening there? And well, I know that you are the most highly qualified <laughs> when it comes to this, but don't you think it's a little bit uh, too far? It's not. 
Actually, local government is the closest sphere of government. You are born in a municipality, you grow up in a municipality, you eat in a municipality, you sleep in a municipality, you even die in a municipality. And you are buried there. You can't be buried in Gauteng. You can't be buried in South Africa. You've got to be buried somewhere in a locality. So we should be focusing there. And I think we are really doing a disservice if we are alienating local citizens from the governance of the country. And if you look at the amount of money that is wasted on, on, on things that citizens don't want and the money that is embezzled in wrong ways at local government level. It's about time that people like myself, people like Aucha and, and the organization focus their energies on the sphere of government that has been neglected. How easy do you think that is going to be considering that there are many of uh, people who have embezzled government money who are still right now in power, irregardless of the power changes in South Africa? We are closing the space for the recycling of corrupt people. In, whether it's in local government, somebody gets uh, recycled from local government to national, and then they do something at national, they come back at local. I think as citizens, we have to take to take, I mean, to take our rightful place and, and act on this thing and hold local government accountable and hold the entire government accountable. It's our money. The government it does not. This money is coming from your tax. It's coming from my tax. It's coming from that mama who is buying something at the shop every day, paying VAT. And it's about time we hold government to account for these monies.